what about gasoline and diesel? First of all, let us understand the system which we have. And I'm glad you asked me this question because it is asked all about. And I'm sure that some people who want to call have these questions they want to ask. So I'm answering them in advance. In August or thereabouts, the price was $15 and something a gallon. Yes. fifteen twenty eight A gallon for, fu- for, for, for gasoline. For gasoline. Mm-hmm. It is... Now, at the moment, twelve seventy two. Yes, a gallon. A reduction of two fifty six so far. A reduction of two fifty six so far, and another reduction is coming on Monday. Yes. What do we do? We have a rolling three month average. What does that mean? I want persons to understand each of those world words. It's rolling. It's three months and it's an average for the three months. Yes. So that if you are dealing with the fuel surcharge in the month of February, you deal with February, January, if you deal address it, because every month we address it. Yes. You address it in February. February, January, December. December. Mm-hmm. So you take the average of that. When you get to the month of March now. You do January, February, March. and March. Yes. That's how the rolling, it's rolling. And it's three months and it's an average. So we either leave the fuel the same way, price, or we increase it or we reduce it depending upon the average. Why is it that we instituted this system? And by the way, I took that system to the Monetary Council of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union and they said yes. That is the best system. But of course, not all of them using it. Yeah. They haven't gotten around to it. But we have been, we pioneered it, we use it. Now, in relation to this, when people look at the price, you'd see somebody say, well, St. Kitts is now $10 and something a gallon. And you are $12 and something. Why is that so? Well, let us see where we are going on Monday. And why is St. Kitts doing that? What happened in 2014? The average price of gasoline in CARICOM in 2014 was such that only Trinidad and Tobago had a lower price than St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I have the data. I read it out in the parliament. But what people, what some people who have a political axe to grind do opportunistically, they take a month of somebody and they say, oh, look at what they're doing. Look at what is in St. Vincent. But take the time series. Take the whole 12 months for 2014. In an event too, do we know whether or not that same kids went lower because they have an impending election. And that they made so much money last year. They made such a bonus last year. I'm talking about the government. That they had enough save up. That you could drop it lower than it's supposed to be. Huh? To sweeten the pot. To sweeten the electoral pot. I don't know if that is the case. But I'm just saying. Let us, let us look at the period. And the fact that. Something was done last week. Why isn't it ours? Because we have our timetable in which we do it. Exactly. And it works out yeah. on an ongoing basis. Now, you take... Let me, let, me, let me show you how people will function. They would say that St. Lucia has just reduced theirs. Yes. Lower than us. But as of the 5th of February, which I have the data here, gasoline in St. Lucia was 13.64 a gallon and ours was 12.72. 1272, yes. So St. Lucia must have been saying, but why you can't be like St. Vincent? St. Vincent, <laughs> because they're 12.72. Mm. Well, St. Lucia has now gone below us. Yes. Okay? Um, but on Monday, 
because there will be a gazette tomorrow. And our figure tomorrow, will um, on Monday, will be $11.47 a gallon for gasoline. So if it's, it was 15.28 in October, in August, August. last year, mm -hmm. you will notice that we will be dropping by nearly four dollars. Three dollars and eighty-one cents. Three dollars and eighty-one cents since since October. Since October so last, last year. year. No. So I just give that as an example. I'll come to LPG just now. On Monday, because the Gazette will be published tomorrow. The price for gasoline is going to go down by one dollar and twenty-five cents. No diesel. Gasoline, oh, gasoline is one. going to go yeah, down by one twenty-five. Yes, yes. From twelve seventy-seven to eleven forty-seven. Mm -hmm. Diesel is going to go down from twelve ninety-two to eleven o five. They're going to fall by one dollar and eighty-seven cents. And low sulfur diesel is going to go from twelve ninety-two. To eleven eighty, a difference of one twelve. Now, why is it that we are putting low sulfur diesel in the mix? And what is the difference? The difference between the bonus which comes in for the diesel and the low sulfur diesel is the duty paid on the importation of the low sulfur diesel, as this originates from an extra regional source, which is not covered by the decision of the Council for Trade and Economic. Development in CARICOM quoted. quoted, which gave the permission for us to waive it in respect of Venezuelan fuel. Yes, okay, we have the CET in yes. respect of Venezuelan fuel. So, this is so it does not affect the Petrocarib fuel, but one of the agency, one of the purchasers bringing the low sulfur diesel from another source, yes. extra regional source, not from Trinidad and not from what is covered with quoted with Venezuela. Quoted being the Council of Trade and Economic Development of CARICOM. No. Because all these things are regulated in a regional sense. And the reason why we had a, an, an issue for a while, bringing down the gasoline and not the diesel, is simply because we had a, a, a problem with the importer of the low sulfur diesel. And, and the information was not coming to the Ministry of Trade. And I said, but I mean, the information, if it ain't come to the Ministry of Trade, it must come to the customs. Yes. <laughs> and we must be able to get this sorted out. And this is why you notice that the drop for diesel is very, is much sharper. A drop by 187 when it yes. comes for, for Monday. I'm not telling fellas to run the run the vehicle <laughs> and don't think because don't you, have fall to, up you, you have to use it and which is why we sometimes hold back the we hold information. back but i mean we hold back the information <laughs> but, but that's the decision made since yesterday yeah yeah yeah. Know. but 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 i i i say i'll talk about that yes, tonight yes you know um the because a man in my run his vehicle empty <laughs> on the week on the weekend at the margin a fellow might try and save a few <laughs> dollars <laughs> you know but 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 that's okay yes. um and the low sulfur diesel, the the change will be one dollar and twelve cents. Twelve cents, yes. Coming down to eleven eighty. No. A more important problem which we have to address is this, and I want people to listen to me very carefully on this subject. How do we? What is the base price that we use in relation to? diesel and gasoline to calculate what going to come at the pump. There's a base price and I'll come to that. And then you have the things, transportation, you have the wholesaler's margin, you have the retailer's, retailer's margin. margin. You know, I'm talking about for their profits. Mm -hmm. And then a price is set. And people will see the Brent spot price, that's for the Brent crude, the Brent spot price is so much. You see it on CNN. Yes. The United States 
the, the U.S. Gulf Coast. Gulf Coast price. price. Yes. The U.S. Gulf Coast price. Mm. And they say, well, boy, that gone down. How is it mm. <laughs> that ours hasn't gone down that much? Mm. By the extent to which they see it on CNN. The reason for it, the base price which is used in the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union countries is what is called the mean of Caribbean posting. posting. The mean of Caribbean posting, this may sound complicated. Mean, M-E-A-N, doesn't mean <laughs> that you're a mean and worthless fella. <laughs> mean means average. Average, yes. The posting is the price. Yes. So it's the average Caribbean post price. Price. Is the benchmark to set the free on board, the FOB price for the petroleum products imported into St. Vincent and the other Eastern Caribbean Currency Union countries. Now, there are two companies, PetroTrin out of Trinidad and Shell West, which would be the, which have been the companies responsible for the for the mean of Caribbean posting. But since October 2013, Shell West has stopped posting prices. So essentially, the mean of Caribbean posting is done solely by Petrochin. But hear me this. When Petrochin sells to the U.S., they use the U.S. Gulf Coast prices. Yes. Well, you may say, well, Comrade Ralph, what is the difference here between the U.S. Gulf Coast prices and the mean of Caribbean posting? Well, the mean of Caribbean posting, generally, in fact, more often than not, is higher, higher. than the U.S. Gulf, Gulf Coast, Coast price, price or the Brent spot Brent price. price. Yes. In fact, we had a study done which showed in the Eastern Caribbean, in the currency union, say for 2012, the difference between if you use a retail price based on the U.S. Gulf Coast price and based on the mean of Caribbean posting, the difference was $2.23 EC a gallon. In other words, the mean of Caribbean posting was two dollars and twenty-three EC a gallon. If you did work the differential More expensive. for the for the at the retail pump, based on the base price, the free on board, the FOB price, whether it's mean of Caribbean posting or whether it's U.S. Gulf Coast, we have asked the Ministry of Finance to do a study for twenty fourteen for the. What is the difference with the mean of Caribbean posting and the Brent spot price? The price differential, the retail price differential, if you use those two in 2014, and the difference on an average for the year 2014, for the 12 months, is $3.08. Down to today, I had the Ministry of Finance have a discussion with the the, oil co the, 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 the two companies which import, Sol and Rubis. Mm, yes, yes. At the Monetary Council, we had moved for us to abandon the mean of Caribbean posting because it's not a transparent um, posting price and to go for the U.S. Gulf Coast price. The report that I got from the Director General of Finance and Planning this evening mm -hmm. is that the companies are saying, well, they will, you know, this is a thing which had been done through CARICOM and so on and so forth. Well, I will raise this matter at CARICOM because Barbados is using the U.S. Gulf Coast price. Jamaica is using the U.S. Gulf Coast price. And I don't want us in St. Vincent to move, St. Vincent and Grenadines, to move at the pace of the slowest inside of the 
Corn sa Union. We'll move ahead at the pack. <laughs> now, you will, you will observe here that this is not a, an issue which is straightforward and you hear a lot of talk about all sorts of different things. It, it, yeah. it's, it's a, look, I am concerned about people getting the lowest price for the fuel and to have a security of supply. Yes. And to avoid wide variations. That's why we institute, instituted the rule in three month average. Now, LPG. Before we had the problem with Texaco, you remember in 2005, 2005 yes, into 2006. Yes. When they wanted an increase, and I stood up and said, no, you have to show me. Because the Ministry of Trade at the time, the professionals came and told me, yes, they deserve an increase. I said, well, I want to see how they calculate their price. Let me see how they build it out. What is the base? I was shocked to observe, to note, that they were selling us LPG at 90% of kerosene. They have been doing so for donkey years from the time of the NDP administration. No, it may well be that there was good reason to set it at 90% of kerosene or for the government then to agree because the kerosene price would have been fairly stable. Mm -hmm. But when kerosene start to go high, 90% of kerosene, if that's how it's, you're doing LPG, would be higher than you're supposed, supposed to be because LPG is consisting not of kerosene <laughs> but of butane and propane. <laughs> Every yes. student in science knows that. The liquefied petroleum gas, gas, LPG, is butane and propane. So, we said let us use the internationally recognized base price, which is a price out of a place called Mont Bellevue, M-O-N-T, that's one word, B-E-L-V-I-E-U, is a place in Texas. Let's use that. Whatever the Mont Bellevue, the international benchmark price is, let we use that. And let we do all the build out. Transportation, wholesalers margin, retailers margin, everything. Insurance, everything which you would normally put in the price build out. Now, over the last few months, the Mont Bellevue price has been falling. Falling for LPG, the benchmark. And we have to drop. On Monday, there's going to be a fall in, there's going to be a drop in, um, in the price. Um, I could tell you this, I gave the instructions today to drop the 20 pound cylinders from 41 dollars and 81 cents to 29 dollars and to drop the 100 pong from 197 dollars and 5 cents i think it's 138 i told them to put it we had a this we had a meeting and the meeting was not it was reported to me that the meeting was not conclusive with the suppliers the suppliers but we set the price in 2006 we took the decision that we will set the price but we consulted them but in my view over the last few months they were getting a bigger margin than they're supposed to get and while they're arguing still well when we set it there we will we will we will see how we tango <laughs> eh? no uh, again some countries, you hear people tell you, 
that St. Lucia dropped the price. On the 5th of February, St. Lucia price was $32.89 for the 20-pound and ours was $41.81. But nobody noticed that the 100-pound was $235.77 for the 100-pound, while ours was $195.05. And nobody asked whether in relation to the 20 pound if St. Lucia is subsidizing it or not. Because Antigua has been subsidizing LPG. I don't agree with subsidizing fuel. I'll tell you why. If I subsidize the fuel by, let's say, $5, I am subsidizing the rich man, Ralph, and 705 announcer. <laughs> and I'm also subsidizing the man from public assistance. But why should the 705 announcer and Ralph and the rich man get that $5 subsidy too? So if I want to help the poor, which I do, what I will do is that every couple of years, I carry up the public assistance by a few dollars and let you that's how I can help you the poor, the poor man and that is why we put up the minimum pension for the NIS to help the poor the, 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 the pensioner there and so on and so forth so there are complications in all of these things and but what a fellow will do, a fellow will just take one number mm -hmm. in one month. And I think the discussion that I've had here tonight very, very must satisfy very, the very public yeah. that Ralph and the government, that we are on top of this matter and we're looking out for their interests. <laughs> well, you know, Prime Minister, I know that I probably am receiving some cussing. Um, <laughs> we've gone... <laughs> Almost an hour without taking any phone calls. But, I know you, I, you, think, you, you, you did. did. Issue, I, I think it was very important to get these issues that we dealt yes. with out of the way. And, and the last one in particular. In, in particular. And, you know, one more comment on that before I go to the lines because they're flashing is that I have said in the last three weeks or so, the professionals, the technocrats in the Ministry of Finance and Planning, they send the information to Cabinet and then cabinet make a decision. It's not that cabinet, we sit down and come up with a figure that we pull out of a hat and decide. These are figures based on what the economists, the professionals in the Ministry of Finance, the technocrats said forward. <laughs>